YouTube, what's going on? It's your man, Uncle Demi, and of course, I'm here with another banger, man. Listen, a shot blocking wing. That is crazy, a shot blocking wing. And I'm telling you what, man, this build right here is different. It's different and it's nasty. I'm not gonna front. This is a nasty build, man. This is a build that is definitely comp. Like this is a build that will be very annoying <laughs> if he would, when you feet when you see him out on on the court. And I'm gonna tell you how I know because if you know, say my boy Flow Jerk. Now, of course, everybody know Flow Jerk, man. Come on, bro. Top lockdown in the game. You know what I mean? Doing his thing on YouTube. Y'all know what it is, man. Flow Jerk on YouTube, man. And um, of course, you know that's like my right hand man. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You see Flow Jerk, I'm not going to be that far behind and vice versa. You know what I mean? We've been doing this thing for a while since last year. You know what I'm saying? And um, Flow actually played against this, this build. And he was like, yo, man, you need to pull up to the court. So I pulled up to the court. And he was like, yo, you see what I'm playing against? And I'm like, yo, what is that? And then I looked at his attributes. I'm like, yo, this build is crazy. So um, shout out to my man Flow. You know what I mean? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you all this video. So let's hop right into it. So, of course, I didn't know everything about the build. So I had to just kind of mess around a little bit. Um, I chose this pie chart because defense is shooting. I know that definitely is a pie chart the guy had to have used. All right. I use the balanced pie chart. I like to go balanced a lot when I feel like a build might have to play down low. All right. So, um, you know, I like to go all the way at the top for the speed when I feel like they're not going to be playing down low. But if I feel like you're playing down low, I'm going to go ahead and make you versatile or make you as balanced as possible, right? So you go off that pie chart. Then when it comes to the attributes, you wanna put your shot close at 84, all right? You wanna get your driving layup at 70, so you're maxing that out. Then you wanna get your um, driving dunk at 74, and then you wanna get your standing dunk at 64, all right? And then when it comes to your shooting, you wanna get this out, to max this out to 79, you max this out to 77, and you max this out to 85. And then your post, you wanna put at 59. All right, that gives you exactly 15. So as you can tell, that's why I did that, All right? And then you want to get your post moves and put your post moves at 68. So you want to max your post moves out, All right? Then when it comes to the defense, you want to get your defense, max that out. You want to get your um, perimeter defense at 78. Your lateral quickness, you want to max that out. You want to max out your steals at 79. And then you want to max out your blocks to 82. Then you want to get your rebounding at 75, okay? So as you can tell, this build is basically... Um, at this point in time, it's just sharp, you know, it's, it's, it's one of those sharp shooting, defending type builds. Um, and, you know, it's nothing really different from a lot of other builds that's out there. And that's the key thing. So just because the name has changed, this build is basically just like your, you know, um, what's the most common lockdowns you see out there now? You know, one of the rebounding wings or a um, perimeter lockdown. Um, I'm trying to think what other lockdowns you see out there. Um, Two-way sharpshooters. Like, I mean, like, there's a lot of common name builds, but you're just making some subtle tweaks, and then you get the name. And this is what you're going to see here. All right, so I picked Compact because I wanted him to be skinny because I felt like this is pretty dope to have him skinny because he's going to be 6'9 now. You make him 6'9", you drop his weight all the way to 200 pounds, right? So this guy right here is going to be a long, linky, you know, athletic player out there on the floor, right? Which is really, really dope, okay? Then you want to get the wingspan, and you want to max that out to 89. So you don't want to go all the way out to 90.7, drop it one below at 89. So now his shot blocking goes to 87, his steals to 74. Your mid-range is 75 and your three-point shooting is 72. So you're going to have to get creative when it comes to the defense. I mean, when it comes to your shooting, make sure, and I'm going to show you what badges you need to get to make sure you're going to be a, a solid and reliable shooter, all right? But this build is crazy, all right? Now, of course, this is, again, you have to go between your lockdown and your sharpshooting or your spot-up. I think these are the best. And for me, with this build, I'm going to go ahead and go with the lockdown because I just feel like it's just a shot blocking wing. So you got to go ahead and have that. Right. And look at that. A shot blocking wing. Like that is beautiful, man. Like just look at that, man. Really, really solid build and a really unique build, man. I'm glad to bring it to you. Now let's go ahead and test it out. So, of course, you want to make sure you get this thing, the 90, uh, this get them out to 99. It really don't matter, but I just go ahead and take them all up to 99. And then for the finishing badges, I think the big thing here is to go ahead and get your contact finisher, right? And then the next thing I think that you want to do is either go with your, acro your, your acrobat and then maybe um, consistent finisher, right? I think those would be some really good ones to have uh, if you spend on doing a lot of Euro steps and that type of deal. Um, and then also, you know, consistent finisher to make sure you're, you know, you're not going to green every layup, you're hitting that. And then, you know, contact finisher, I think it's important. So this is a game changer to have that many finishing badges, I think, seven. 
when it comes to shooting, you want to make sure you get your catch and shoot. I think you should put your catch and shoot at Hall of Fame, your quick draw at Silver. I think you should put your range extender at Hall of Fame, and then your hot zone hunter at Hall of Fame. All right. So I think because in because hot zone hunters is such an OP build, man. Like you really, really need to have that in your um, like you just really need to have that um badge uh, uh, equipped. Now, again, let's say for instance, because I know people been saying is like, what if I don't play my career and I don't have the hot zones? All right. If you don't have the hot zones. Then for me, the next big things I think you should have is definitely have like pick and popper and then corner specialist, right? I think that those would be good because he probably would set screens because this dude could actually be the big, right? And then you can get corner specialist, right? And then, if you know, if, if you think that you're going to shoot a lot of contested shots, then maybe dead eye. But again, this is your build. You make it the way you want to make it, right? For your playmaking badges, um, either break starter or quick first step. I think that those would be the best um, builds to have, I mean, um, badges to have for that. And then when it comes to defense, nothing much really going to change here. You want to make sure you get your Clamps Hall of Fame. You want to get your Intimidator Hall of Fame. You want to get your Pickpocket. And then you want to get your Pick Dodger, right? Now, um, to me, I'm sorry, I said, I haven't accepted. It's supposed to be Intimidator, right? Now, um, to me, you do have two badges left. And for this type of build, I think that getting chased down would be pretty dope, right? Um, Interceptor would be pretty dope. Pogo stick would be pretty dope also, right? And then you also have rebound chaser, right? So if you wanted to drop these down to gold, right? And then get rebound chaser here, I think that would be pretty smart too. If you're not really big on chase down, which, you know, I'm big on chase down. I love having chase down. Then you can go ahead and get pogo stick, right? Or you can get um, interceptor, pick dodger. If you don't think you're going to be getting picked a lot, you can go ahead and put on pick pogo stick here. And then maybe go um, here. You know what I mean? So there's different avenues. Brick wall, if you spend on setting a lot of screens. So there's a lot of things that you could do. Just want to give y'all some ideas. But there you go, man. That's your shot blocking wing. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I really, really have been, you know, appreciative of uh, the activity that I've seen in the comic session. I love to see people talking. And I, um, if you haven't realized, I do try to respond to every single message that is sent. So um, if you do have an idea, please or if you have a build that have not that you haven't seen on here please you know hit me up on twitter uncle dean at uncle demi um or drop a message in the um comment section let me know you do have a build but i usually just say hit me up on twitter so it can be like a personal chat so i can get you know the screenshot and, the, and all the attributes so i can get that and of course as you can see with my live threat build i will set, shout you out all right other than that, man, listen, I do stream every day on Twitch, so please follow me on Twitch. Please subscribe to me on Twitch also because that's where I'm going to do all my gameplay, my live gameplay, and I'll drop the videos here. Um, I hear y'all loud and clear. Y'all do want to see more commentary, so um, hopefully um, I will get something out to you this weekend. I try to get one commentary video out to you every weekend, so if you want to see commentary video like I did with my Ruffles or when I played with, you know what I'm saying, um, the, the NFL player or when I had that 3v3 with um, Quavo Quavo, you usually see that. I usually drop that, you know what I'm saying, every Saturday, right? So that's what I'm trying to do now. I do got a banging video that I'm trying to get to y'all this weekend. So I hope, you know, my editor can get that to me so I can drop that to y'all this Saturday. But hey, other than that, I really appreciate y'all. Um, I'm going to keep on, you know, dropping these videos as long as you keep on liking my videos and, and like my subscriptions are going up and I'm showing that y'all really loving this. Then I'm going to keep on doing what I got to do, all right? But, um, but other than that, this is your man, Uncle Demi, and i see you the next time around. I'm out. If he cough for a low, we gon' give it to him. Take the stop off the top of no transformer. Man, we're ducking and dodging on the corner. Don't want flip with a beat like a mighty morpher. Tell myself to get rich and go have.